The 2023 World Fuel Altered Nationals from Eddyville Raceway Park on Monday Morning Racer. This race has been one that I have been wanting to get to for a while and was able to mark it off the list in 2023. You can look for this race already scheduled in 2024 on August 17th. It is certainly an event to catch and at a great track in Eddyville Raceway Park that you need to mark off your list as well. You will notice that the B field, due to some qualifying attrition, is a bit light and they will go from round one straight into the final round. But great fuel alters up next right here on Monday Morning Racer. The back from the ashes feel altered. Everybody's wondering what happened, even Gerald Kramer, owner of Eddieville Raceway, to Pete Dove out there on the starting line. 375 qualified number one. We were all expecting a good day for you, but well, went to ashes there on the starting line. Yes, it did. I think the crew was expecting the best day ever, but uh, we had a CO2 leak, small leak, big leak, whatever you want to call it. Bottle pressure gets below 200 pounds and shuts the safety system off. So the car just shut itself off because of the lack of CO2. There's certainly a million ways to lose them. They are challenging to win. I imagine overall, Pete, though, this car, the performance you've had thus far this year, you've got to be excited about where it is and can go. It's, uh, it's the best season we've had. And um, if we could run the car a little more, I think we could be pretty competitive. Four 
machine of Mr. Umlauf is getting ready for a final round here at the World Fuel Altered Nationals. This machine, new machine for you. Y'all been getting the bugs worked out and the performance has been stellar this weekend. Can you get a win? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I mean, it's up against radar. Radar always trees me, but we'll see what happens. Nitro Madness is going to a final round. Radar, as you are affectionately known, you are accustomed to doing well at this event and anything fuel altered. Last time I saw you, Nitro Chaos had some bugs, but the performance has definitely been there this weekend. Yeah, we've been struggling with the heat a little bit, but uh, it's come around and uh, it's going to be a fun final round. In the B field here at the World Fuel Altered Nationals, Eddieville Raceway Park, it is Paul Applebaum picking up the win. Run us through qualifying and the race day and you getting the trophy here, Paul. Well, if you look on the nose there, we took out a few cones qualifying, trying to tune her up a little bit. So we had to step back a little bit, put her basic old tune that always worked for us and just start going rounds after that. So 
uh, we're definitely trying to tune this thing up again next time we're out here. This event in particular, how many times have you attended and what has been your successes in the past? Well, we have been, uh, we come like four years in a row, kept struggling with the car, then we didn't come for about four years, just worked on the car, run mostly with the NDRL and the 70 League, trying to dial in for that. We're not really set up for eighth mile, but we could have either went to that race this weekend or come here and it's like, you know, it's been too long. We need to come back here. So here we come and here we are. Well, Paul definitely went bobbing and got a mouthful in a win here at the World Full Fuel Altered Nationals. Chaos Fuel Altered of John Umloff. He picks up the win here at the World Fuel Altered Nationals. We see you often in Nitro Chaos. Been working this car to this very point, dipping into the threes. Stellar performance. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. This We've won it three years in a row now. We won the B field last year and then the A field the year before and then the A field here again tonight. You get the win here. Onward in the schedule, looking at a place such as Lufkin with the performance that you had here tonight. What kind of dent do you think you can make in the Nitro Chaos fields? Well, I kind of blew it up there on that run against Radar, so I will have to look at that and see what happens after that. Well, Mr. Umloff is a champion tonight. Got some work to do, but they have certainly worked out the bugs in mass chaos.